16 enthusiastic chefs arrived at Hell's Kitchen. Hell's Kitchen 18! But half of them were in for an unexpected surprise. I haven't been completely honest with you. My name's Ariel, and I came in third on season six of Hell's Kitchen. As the other half revealed they've all been here before. Runner-up of season 16. Right, from season 14. Season 13. What the hell? If they were previous Hell's Kitchen winners, I would be nervous, but they're previous Hell's Kitchen losers. Yeah. Chef Ramsay First. declared this special season as Rookies versus Veterans. And announced the greatest title and position ever as the prize. The winner will become the executive chef of the first ever Hell's Kitchen restaurant at Caesars Palace, Las Vegas. In a very special signature dish challenge. Bloody hell. Look at theirs. The veterans got a surprise of their own. You are not going to be making your signature dish. Come on. We'll be making theirs. What the hell are you trying to pull, Chef? Ohio restaurant owner and name dropper Scott. Is this from Boulieu? Charlie Palmer, actually. Couldn't live up to his hype. Good news is, Scott, your restaurant's closed now. No one's eating this shit. While season four veteran Jen. Why have a cooked? That's a two out of five. Had a miserable homecoming. Come on, you all start a two? It's unacceptable. After the challenge ended in a tie. The best dish from both teams wins the challenge. Season six runner up Kevin and his fish chowder. Nobody here can cook better than me. I wake up in the morning, the first thing I do is piss excellence. Congratulations, Mia. Was beaten by Puerto Rico native Mia, who sealed the first victory for the most talented rookie team in Hell's Kitchen history. Now they know I'm a force to be reckoned with. After a punishing day, Veterans That's Brett right. and Jen bonded in the dorms. Both my parents just recently passed away. That's why you see me kiss my wrist, because their names are tattooed on me. The next morning, oh, shit. Chef Ramsay gathered the teams for a stunning announcement. I'm about to tell you something quite shocking. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen Veterans vs. Rookies. Today, it's about a passing right here in Hell's Kitchen. One of our near and dear. We are saying farewell to... Jockey. No, not Jockey, but Jockey. Come on out. Look at snazzy. <laughs> what is he doing? Keep it down. He shouldn't be looking. We are saying goodbye to a Hell's Kitchen favorite, the lobster risotto. What? That's right. One of the most famous dishes ever to grace this kitchen. It's a risotto. It's a staple. It was on my season, past season, next season, other season, every season. Two risotto I need now. Very nice, that risotto. No, no, no. You don't toss a risotto. That risotto is excellent. Where's the risotto? I need an urgent risotto, please. You're putting the crab in the lobster risotto. Risotto. Delicious. I've got another burnt risotto. Burnt. A light one, a dark one, and a medium one. The same table. How long for the risotto? Delicious, that risotto. Risotto to risotto, fire. I call out a risotto, and he's still standing there gawping at me. How do you manage to make a risotto look like a bowl of vomit that's been dipped in oil? Two risotto, 17 minutes on order. At least it's delicious. I'm going to give you each a chance now to put your risotto on the Hell's Kitchen menu. I mean, you don't get that opportunity if you're not on a different level. It's because we're the best of the best. These aren't people that Chef Ramji just picked up on the sidewalk. These are people that really know their shit. But that's not all. Blue Team, you know that Hell's Kitchen is a long, demanding, difficult journey, right? Yes, sure. yes Chef. I'm giving the winner of this challenge something very valuable that will make their journey a little easier. Mourinho. Buongiorno. In the history of Hell's Kitchen, there's never been anything like this. A punishment pass. The winner of this challenge will receive that free pass. If that winner finds themselves on the losing team, the ticket will allow that chef to get out of the punishment. Not only will it save you from punishment, you get to join the winning team on their incredible reward. It can only be used once, so use it wisely. Wow. Oh my god, I would never have to drink a fish gut milkshake again. 45 minutes start now. Let's go.
I'm working with crab guys. All right, I'll go duck breast. Bacon. Pancetta. All right, push right here. Perfect. I see everybody piling around all of the meats. And I just, I was like, you know what? I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I think I'm going to go vegetarian. Vegetarian? All right. And feeling like that's going to really set my dish apart from everybody else. All right, you got everything you need? I'm sorry? You got everything you need? I'm getting there, yes. I'm doing asparagus and shrimp risotto. I do it at home five times a week. There's no way I could lose this. Let's get it, baby. I breathe, live, eat, sleep, shit, risotto all the time. I should win this, man. I make a risotto at home literally three, four, five times a week. Set yourself up, big boy. Set yourself up. The whole time, Brett kept saying, I do this all the time. I do this all the time. I literally make this three days a week, four days a week. I'm almost thinking he might be too confident. You OK? Yeah. Just taste my risotto. When you're talking about how good you are, you better damn well prove it. <laughs> what do you got working? Sweet pea pancetta basil. OK. So this is your protein in there then? Mm hmm Yeah? I know I'm amazing at making risotto. It's one of the first things you learn when you're in culinary school. So if we're in Hell's Kitchen and we can't make a fucking risotto, then we shouldn't be here. Chef Christina, you have to sub the pork belly from Buckley, but I just cut the fat side of it. Have you ever cooked pork belly in this short amount of time? No. Yeah? No? No. Okay. Pretty ambitious. I mean, we make this at Gordon's restaurant and we slow cook it for 36 hours. Wait. It's a tough one to work. Oh, chef. Five minutes. Five minutes. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. This is mine. Confidence is high right now. I am so ready to blow everybody out of the water with this risotto. I want my dish on the fucking menu. 15 seconds. Oh, my God. Come on, baby. You're almost there. Almost there, baby. Almost there. Five, four, three, Two, one, and serve. Well done. Let's go. OK, great. Look at that punishment pass. That pass is a game changer. I want to win this punishment pass just in case I have to eat like some cow testicles or something one day in the punishment. I can opt out of that. I will not be tasting all 16 of your risottos. Not only are Christina and Jockey your sous chefs, they are trusted colleagues. They're going to be tasting all the risotto dishes made by their kitchens. After that, they'll narrow it down to four from the blue team and four from the red team. I'll be in my office organizing tonight's menu. I love the idea that Chef Ramsay's only going to taste four dishes. Anything that can set me apart from anyone else in this competition is only going to be to my benefit. Come on down. Gotcha. Let's get cozy. What I have for you is a roasted carrot, parsnip, and pearl onion puree. The color did not stay the way I wanted it to. Thank you. Chef Jockey, the blank stare. I don't know how to read them. Right. What you got here? Mm -hmm. So today I prepared a grilled shrimp risotto cooked in a seafood stock brodo with some Parmesan rice. What do you call it? Tomato seafood? Brodo, the Italian word for, for broth. So I'm not Italian. Sorry, chef. Stock. Thank you. Chef. While the blue team tries to deliver an all-star performance. Give me one second. No problem, chef. The rookies attempt to make a lasting impression with Chef Christina. OK, here I have a uni and crab meat risotto. I'm feeling confident in my dish. Coming from Puerto Rico, it's really weird because my cooking style is way more than just the Hispanic culture. I have many tricks up my sleeve. Thank you. Thank you, chef. How are you doing, chef? Great. So what I have here is pan seared pork belly, and I did with a poached egg. Mm -hmm. And this is intended to crack and mix into the risotto. I put it off to the side as an option. Do you put things on a plate often that are just options? Trevor, chef. I did a lemon and leek risotto with sautéed clams and chorizo. Would you change anything in no. this? No. I would have eaten it for lunch. So here we have a uh, blistered tomato risotto with a little Parmesan and a little uh, crispy leeks on top. I know my dish is good, so I'm ready for Chef Christina to hopefully give me some positive feedback. Thank you. Or not. <laughs> Thank you, Chef. What do we have here? Well, um, maybe let's call it under the sea risotto, because it's a trilogy of seafood. Can I taste that with you, Chef? What's that? Can I give it a taste with you, too? Yeah, of course. Have you not tried it yourself? Um, yeah, mm hmm I tried it. What are you looking for? Mm -mm. It being a veteran versus rookie season, we're being held to the highest expectations. And you have Jen over here, out in left field. Nobody's going to hold your hand. OK, thank you. Thanks, Chef. Chefs Jockey and Christina have narrowed the field down by half. And it's up to Chef Ramsay to taste the final eight and choose a winner. OK, Christina, tell me 
who the first dish belongs to. First dish from the red team chef will be from Chris. Chris. What? Let's go. Chris. Oh, wow. I'm blown away. Chef Christina, are you sure? This Chris? Are you, are you sure? Right. Describe the risotto, please. I uh, pan seared pork belly, seasoned with salt and pepper, a little bit of chili powder. How do you cook the pork belly in such a short time? Uh, I don't know, Chef. I, I just managed to pull it off. It doesn't look like a risotto, but let me tell you, the flavor it punches is great. Great start. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Good job, bro. Jockey, give me the name of the first dish that I'm tasting today, please. Come on, bro. You're my bro. This should be a slam dunk. Gordon, the first dish is from T. T. Let's go. T would be my biggest competition. We both had our hands on that door, and we both have had our hearts ripped out of our chest and smashed. Describe the risotto, please. All right, chef, what I've prepared for you today is a scallop risotto, leeks, pancetta. It's finished with a little bit of green tomato relish. Why relish on top of a risotto? The green tomatoes really give it that different dimension, and uh, the scallops cooked beautifully should work perfect. I'm not a big fan of relish, but on the risotto, it tastes delicious. Uh, creative. The question is whether it's better than Chris's. Uh, tea. Yes, chef. It's definitely better than Chris's. Good job. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Wow. Being back in Hell's Kitchen, I'm in my element. I know what Chef Ramsay wants, and I got talent. Christina, the second name, please. Second dish coming for you, Chef. This is from Gizzy. Gizzy. Let's go. Oh, shit. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Describe the dish, please. I kind of took a risk and went all vegetarian. Vegetarian. Uh, some of these rookie dishes, I don't think they understand that this is going on the Hell's Kitchen menu. Dizzy's doesn't even have a protein. You got no backup of great proteins. So there's no beef, there's no pork, there's nothing in there. A vegetarian dish in Hell's Kitchen? What are you, stupid? There's no way. Gizzy. It's... In this individual challenge, the best risotto dish will not only become a permanent fixture on the menu, it will also earn a punishment pass. I kind of took a risk and went all vegetarian. Hell's Kitchen first-timer Gizzy is trying to unseat a former Hell's Kitchen runner-up, T. Um... It's... It's delicious. Okay. Whew. We can breathe on this one. It lifts the palate up. It has the edge of a tea. Congratulations. Thank you, Chef. I'm just beside myself. It's really validating. Really, really validating. Chef Jockey's second choice... Roll. ...is banking on her... Carrot, turmeric, ginger, risotto. ...to impress Chef Ramsay. Your rice is just a touch too crunchy. Is it better than Gizzy? Uh, sorry, no, it's not. Gizzy's dish is still the one to beat as Christina's third choice... Mia's risotto, Chef. ...and her... Sweet pea and basil risotto with crispy pancetta. Has Chef Ramsay. Man, that's good. Going back for seconds. Jesus Christ. Wow, that's good. Man. Whatever Mia's got going on, Chef digs it. Uh, does it beat Gizzy's? Um, it definitely does. Great job. Thank you, Well Chef. done. That sucks for me, but Mia is proving that she's a force to be reckoned with. And now, Chef Jockey's third choice, Ariel and her... Speck pecorino and wild mushroom risotto. ...will try and unseat Mia. One risotto has the slight edge. Ariel. Take your dish back. It's good, but not good enough. Whoa, 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 what's going on here? Last time I was here, Ariel was one of the strongest on our team. Are these guys that good, or are we that bad? Christina, the final risotto from the red team belongs to who? It's coming from Scott, Chef. Scott, excellent, let's go. Yeah, baby, that's what I'm talking about. Saving the best for last, that's how we roll up in here. So we have a uh, blistered tomato risotto, a little Parmesan, mascarpone, and bacon, a little bit of simple syrup and butter. 
That's good. Tell me, do you think your risotto tastes better than me? Yes, chef. You're wrong. It's not. Thank you. Take your dish back, please. Thank you, chef. Set up. Shocking. The last risotto coming out of the blue team. This has got to be mine. Like, what the fuck, man? My shit is delicious. Is it going to be me? Am I finally going to get in there? Did I do a good enough job? And it's Brett. Brett. Let's go. It bums you out when you don't get picked. I want to be part of the game. I want to be part of the big leagues. And I want to win these challenges. That's what I came here for. Describe the dish first. It's a grilled shrimp and a charred asparagus tip risotto. The broth is actually a seafood and tomato brodo with some Parmesan rind. Go back in line two seconds. The chef. Let me tell you, I can confirm that these two are the best risottos. I know that I've nailed every single component, and I just want my dish on the menu. Congratulations. I gotta win this. Like, I gotta fucking win this dish. It's risotto. The risotto going on the menu for the first time ever in the history of this competition. I will be the recipient of that incredible punishment pass that dish belongs to. Brett. Yes. Fuck yeah! yeah. You know, winning this challenge means everything. I was from my parents right there. Food in my family was always surrounded by a lot of love. <sighs> right now, my parents are fucking ecstatic. Ecstatic, I know it. Tonight, you're making history because your risotto will be featured on the Hell's Kitchen menu. If that's not enough, young man, you are the exclusive owner of the first ever Punishment Pass. Thank you. Pick it up. Matter if I take the whole box? You can hold on to it for now. <laughs> I'm not sad to see the punishment pass go to him. I'm sure he's going to need it throughout this competition. So, good luck. Red Kitchen, Blue Kitchen, head to the dorms. Thank Thanks, Chef. Thanks, Thanks, Chef. Obviously, I'm a little bummed out that I didn't win, but I know my dish was executed perfectly. I got Italian flag tattooed on my chest for a motherfucking reason. Oh, I got the Italian flag on my chest. Come on, it's an individual win, but it's a W for the team, you dig? What's up, baby? I said I make this shit at home five times a week, you dig? Yeah! Yeah, baby, yeah! And now I bounce back. I think he could calm down just a little bit. Here we go. Emotional bread is back. Oh, God. Dude, just calm down. It'll be OK. You don't have to go Wolverine on everybody. <laughs> everybody come in the red kitchen. Uh, everybody in the red kitchen. Uh, let's be the first ones there. Let's go. While the All-Stars know the importance of being on time and showing up as a team. You guys can line up right here. The rookies have to learn some lessons the hard way. Where's the other team? We're gonna get yelled at, come on. Don't fuck with me today. Rookie mistake, numero uno. Yo, where's the rest of your team and why aren't you traveling as one? Get the fuck in the kitchen. They don't know what to expect, and no veterans are going to give them any kind of pointers. Are you kidding me? Are you on vacation, or are you trying to win a fucking job? Sorry, rookies, you're on your own. Is that how you go to work? You just, like, wander into work, do you? It's not funny, yeah? Right, we're going to go through the menu. So we're going to start off on the right-hand side here with the char-grilled octopus. And then we've got the carbonara, beef tartare. You have two Wellingtons this year, beef Wellington, lobster Wellington. So you know, you'll only be slicing the Wellingtons. Pork chop, don't get confused. It'll be coming off fish station. This is your halibut dish. Fat bread, butternut squash. Chicken jus. Scallops. Lamb rat. Pancetta. Salmon. You're just going to take one of these, and then you slice it, OK? Get in front of me. <laughs> Go. Guys, shut the fuck up, will you? There's nothing worse than me showing you, and then you doing exactly the opposite of what I showed you. I'm not really worried about anything. I'm a trial by error kind of guy. Wellingtons. Mark them, I use the back of the knife, OK? Just down the center, down the sides. I know how to cook, this isn't a hard menu. I'm definitely going to hang back a little bit and just let my food do the talking. All right, free hands, free Asian. Who needs what? Uh, if you want to score wellies while I do these eggs. Yes. I'm super competitive. I need somebody for my team to win. Your advantage over there is that they all have egos, and they all thought they should have won. There's a reason they didn't. Garnish, fish. Meat. Hot apps. Meat. Oh my god, what are you doing? What the fuck is that? Right? And I just knew you weren't paying attention. I could see you weren't listening. 
This is really bad work. Bad, bad work. Are you think you're going to get away with that? I, I just knew you weren't paying attention. And this has just proved to me you weren't listening. I egg washed it first, and then I marked it. Right? And you've marked it very shit as well. This is really bad work. Bad, bad work. Uh, I didn't spend the last fucking seven years of my life trying to like work my way up in this industry all over the world to come in here just to get yelled at for screwing up a Wellington. Well, what is that? What is that? I'm gonna do 200 times what I can to make sure that I don't get yelled at again. You better get your fucking act together, Trevor. You're not gonna fucking last long in this competition. Yes, sir. Right, let's go. Blue team, I call out an order. I want to hear some form of communication, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. We are returning veterans. We know what the drill is. I got all this eagerness. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. Let's go. I mean, you're just so jacked up. All right, red team, we fire a ticket. We count down. Yes, Chef. chef. I am thrilled to have this first dinner service. I got some shit to prove, but at the same time, I'm terrified. You know, I don't know what's coming next. Let's go, guys. Good luck. My team is so ready for this service. We are coming in guns blazing. We have to beat the veterans. Mourinho. Yes, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. Show it off. Hell's Kitchen is hotter than ever, with tables booked months in advance for the most anticipated opening in history. Can't see a While every returning veteran has worked in Chef Ramsay's brigade system, Kill it. You got it, babe. the rookies will all be experiencing a Hell's Kitchen dinner service for the very first time. You ready for this? Ready. Tonight, Chef Ramsay is testing the two best brigades he's ever assembled with the biggest and hardest Hell's Kitchen menu ever which now includes Brett's newly added tomato risotto with grilled shrimp and asparagus. Yeah. <laughs> I'll do uh, a bit of pesto. Chef Ramsay has also added a special shrimp and pasta appetizer. So there's going to be the smoke and, and the fire. To be served tableside by Scott Lee for the rookies and Roe for the veterans. Blue team, good yes, luck. Chef. Yes, four covers, table 22. One special pasta table side, one scallop, two risotto. Yes, yes chef. chef. Six, seven minutes? Seven minutes, please. Seven minutes from seven now. Seven minutes. Counting. Out the gate, I want to assert myself as a leader. Make no mistake, I know how to burn, bitch. 90 seconds to risotto. Scallops are going into the pan right now. All right, start those shrimp, please. Taste to see if you're happy with it. Pitch of salt, delicious. All right, fantastic. I make it often at home for my clients, my family, my friends, but now the world is going to be able to taste it. Walking risotto, guys. Go on up with your shrimp right behind your teeth. All right. Hey, hey, yes, come here, you. Brett, urgently, taste that, all of you. Quick, urgently. It's a tomato risotto. What's the first taste that comes in there? Cheese, chef. Cheese. Less mean? cheese, please. Yes, sir. Hey, this is your dish, right? The chef. You need to be over it the first couple to get up to speed. The chef. Brett's like, oh my god, during headlines, Chef Ramsay's talking to me. T, come on, let's go. Yes, chef. Rookies, here we go. Listen up. On order, four covers, table 50. Let's go. One pasta, table side, two risotto. Heard? Yes, chef. Hey. All right, we're seven minutes out on team risotto. The energy amongst the rookies is really awesome. Scott, let me know when you're good to go on shrimp. Minute and a half. We're really trying to go for blood and show everybody that the rookies are going for all the wins. You ready to go on that risotto? Yeah, I'm walking. Walking. I'll meet you at the pass with the shrimp. Where's the shrimp? Right behind you, chef. Oh, fucking hell. Scott, so I've got three fucking shrimp. How many risotto are going? Just one. Oh, fuck. On order, four covers, table 50. Let's go. One pasta, table side, two risotto. Heard? Yes, chef. Hey, yeah. We need sink shrimp. You send me three. What do you need, chef? Oh, my god. Where are the other shrimp? Well, I'm, I'm confused, chef. What do You're you need, You're confused. Then? I need the shrimp for the risotto. I will put them on right now, chef. I'm sorry, chef. Oh, my god. Please don't fuck that up again. Go. Go, go, go. I'm so lost on what he's trying to order, and I need him to slow down to be able to process that information. Six shrimp, chef. Six shrimp. Oh my god, you only need oh three now. God. You already cooked three. <laughs> All right, some parmigiano. Voila. Hey, Donut, why are you cooking the shrimp? Pardon? You'd already done the order. 
is gone. Table side. Are you real? Your name is Scott. Scott Lee is doing table side. Come here, come here, you. Yes, come sir. Here, come here, let me show you what table side means. Scott cooking table side in the kitchen. Man. Table side means it's sat next to the fucking table. Yes, chef. This is so embarrassing. Don't worry about it. While Scott gets accustomed to table side being done table side, over in the blue kitchen. All right, guys, I'm ready to walk risotto. Are we ready? T is ready with her second attempt at the risotto. Chef, two risottos to the pass. Beautiful. Service, please. And the veterans are moving on to. One risotto, two scallops. Let's go. All right, six minutes. Yep. You've got this, yes? Yes, yes, I got it. Let's go. Two minutes out. Chef Ramsey's not looking for somebody with the biggest ego or, you know, the biggest wang or the biggest set of gabonzos. He's looking for a leader, somebody that can run a fucking restaurant. And that's why he brought me back this time. I think you're going to say it's not enough color. Do y'all think they're a little light? Or? No, I don't. There's one thing I never fucked up on. All right, mate. Now, when Chef come back here yelling, I don't want that energy coming my way because I told you. Scallops up. I'm trying to be proactive so we don't get kicked up out the kitchen. Why come to the pan? And why? Hey. Oh, hey, hey, come here. Wow. Just touch them first. Just touch how rubber they are. Oh, milky. Bigger pan, guys. Hey, come on. And hold on, hold on. The worst thing is, hey, they didn't come out the pan for me to drain them. Get it together. Yes, 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 enough to know. Scallops on the fly. Scallops on the fly. Yes, it's frustrating. Scallops are, you know, fickle bitch. Scallops, refire, 35. Oh, my God. Once I saw the beads of sweat coming out of Trev's eyes and them glasses of his getting all fogged up, I knew it was something. Scallops. But hey, I can pat myself on the back. Service, please. Thank you. Trevor Scallops finally make an appearance in the dining room. Oh my gosh, these scallops are to die. Service, please. As both kitchens deliver the rest of their appetizers. Go, Papa. We got it. Go, John. Yes, yes. Thank you so much for your patience. That's risotto right there. It's like heaven. And are ready to move on to entrees. First entrees, two lobster one into one New York strip, one halibut. I'm driving this ticket. Seven minutes. Halibut down, chef. I'm going to take the lead on fish. I'm feeling fired up. Halibut, how long? Give me like one minute and a half, and we're good. I'm on my A game. How long on the strip? Right now, chef. You're good. I'm ready. Walk. I'm ready to walk. I want to show Chef Ramsey that you know I'm a force to be reckoned in the kitchen, and I'm a silent killer. Hey, 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 Reti, come here. I'm fucking pissed off. Come here. Come here. Hey. Fuck. This is just lunacy. I've got raw fucking halibut. This guy can't even cook me sink shrimp with your fucking risotto. This is ridiculous. And you yes, need chef. to get a fucking grip. And you need to grow some quickly. Yes, Otherwise, chef. you and you can fuck off on that car, and I'll push you down La Brea. You're professional chefs, and you're acting like idiots. It's the rookie's first dinner service in Hal's Kitchen and Jose's raw halibut. You're professional chefs, and you're acting like idiots. Was not exactly a smashing success. I need a halibut on the fly, cooked. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Jose, get it together on the halibut, please. You're like sinking right now. Coming to the window. Yes, cooked. The rookies have delivered their first entrees. Thank you for you. While in the blue kitchen, Chef Ramsay looks to Ariel and Brett to deliver on. Two halibut, one lamb, one beef Wellington. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Lamb Wellington. Being back in Hell's Kitchen, because it's the second time and I am much older, I have a lot less nerve. Don't break my heart today, please. Three minutes on this halibut. I'll be right behind you when I slice. I'm just focusing. It's dinner service. We're all professionals. We should know how to work a station. Go, 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 go. Right behind, right behind, right, right behind. Right behind, lamb. Oi, right, what are you doing carving the meat? I'm sorry, chef. Who told you to carve the meat? My wife, I'm so sorry, chef. I cut it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I sliced the lamb, and it was cooked beautiful. Brett, don't slice it. I know. I, I'm sorry, chef. My apologies. I'll slice it. It's not building confidence, Brett. Won't happen again. I'm so sorry, chef. I'm so sorry, chef. I sliced the first one. My apologies, chef. Fuck. Sorry, Fuck. Brett. Bounce it. Yo, my bad, yo. My god. Get over it. Swallow it. Move on. Lamb, beautifully cooked. I'm so sorry. Won't happen again, chef. 
Good, good. How's that duck looking? Yeah, I just, I don't know what we have on order. I'm no, 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 fire right now. I'm just looking. Do we have everything? Yes. All day, what do I have? I have a, uh, so we just walked to the two lambda assist. Okay. I need you to okay. give me on all day. Little sassy Puerto Ricans, let me tell you. Two duck, one lobster, one chicken. How long? Ten out, chef. Ten? Yes, yeah, chef. Why ten? Because I only have one duck. Oh, Jesus. What are you writing down there? Is it an egg? Where's the duck? Wait, wait, yes, hey, 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 red team, all over here. We've got two duck on here and one fucking duck cooked. All this fucking writing. It's not an English exam. Shit! Chris right now thinks he's chef with his little pen and his little paper. He can't even write down the orders correctly. You gotta stop writing now. You gotta stop writing and you gotta come here, young man. You gotta come here. This is elementary, guys. Please, chef. It's one fucking duck and he just comes up and rips my whole fucking map up. Give me that fucking thing. Ah, ah, fuck it. That way you can't write anything down. As Mia and Chris try to get on the same page, over in the blue kitchen, Jen's night is heating up on the grill. I guarantee that pork's fucking over. That one's over. This one's not. I think it's going to be over when you cut it. I'm telling you, I just cooked one and cut it in half, and it was completely pink in the middle. OK. Man, everybody want to be a boss. Right behind, they all come over there, touching my pork with their little booty digging nubs, just dick, 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 touching and poking. Leave me alone. Where's the sauce? Come on, guys. Who brought the pork up? I did the pork chop, chef. And what about the sauce? I don't know where the fuck that is. Did you just say that to me? I didn't see pork sauce. Pork sauce. Pork sauce. Right here, chef. Right here, chef. Pork sauce to your right, chef. After a brief delay on the sauce, the veterans are successfully delivering entrees to satisfied diners. While back in the red kitchen. You ready, lobster? Yeah, ready, okay. ready, 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 ready. Mia and Chris are hoping to write a new chapter in the rookie playbook. Oh my god. Beautifully cooked. Go, darling, go, 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 go. Amazing. Away now to halibut, one lamb, one beef, two pork. What's the way? One lamb, one beef, two pork. Halibut. Halibut, halibut. Oh, halibut. 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 We have, fuck, we have two, two scallops, one halibut, one lobster. Two scallops. Yeah, I'm not used to having this fucking ticket system. I'm not a space cadet. I just have to write these things down. I, I visually have to see it. Two halibut, two pork, one lamb, one beef. Sing it. Two, two halibut, 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 one pork, one, pork, one, one beef. beef. Everybody's saying something different. Everybody's saying something different. Two halibut, two pork, one lamb, one beef. Two, two halibut. 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 Two pork, one lamb, one beef. Again! Two pork, one lamb, one beef. This is not happening. This is not happening. Again! Two pork, one lamb, one beef. How long? Seven minutes. How long? Seven minutes. Seven fucking minutes. Let's go. Let's go. OMG. We're going to bounce back. We're coming back with fire like the red on our jackets. Walking me on. Coming behind. Hot sizzle pan, chef. Oh, fucking hell. My lamb is raw. Mia, Chris, hey, hey, red team, all of you, come here. Hey. Oh, God. I've never known such a fragmented service in all my life. He is lost. He's writing things down, and the only thing missing on there is the wool. I'm done. I'd rather cook on my own with fucking Christina. Fuck off to your door and start thinking about two individuals that you could do without. Now fuck off, will you? Get out! After struggling all evening in the red kitchen, the only thing missing on there is the wool. Chef Ramsay has seen enough from the rookies. Fuck off to your door and start thinking about two individuals that you could do without. Now fuck off, will you? Get out! It's embarrassing that the final straw was one of my mistakes, but so much more shit happened before that lamb. I'm not blaming myself for it. I can't even believe it. While the dejected rookies head back to the dorms. Last table, blue team, yes? The chef. The veterans are closing in on the finish line. Good with duck, Ariel? Yep, it's going I'll walk them both, girl. Finish strong, babe, you got it. 
behind Joshua. Nice to cook the duck. Service, please. That was the best piece of meat I have literally ever had. Are you good? I am fantastic. You're great? Okay. Thank you. The blue team took the W tonight. We finished service, and I'm not surprised. Like, we're all stars, and I think it's finally starting to sink into the red team where the fuck they actually are. Clear down, yes? Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Everybody fucked up in some way or rhythm. I mean, you see how much fucking fish come? I feel like fish who fucked up more than anything. Scott, you were lost. You know what I mean? From the jump, Scott, he was in the twilight zone, and I, I don't know where his head was at. I let the team down. I know it. Damn, you don't even sound like you want to be here. No, I, I, I let the team down. Uh, he's honest. I know. Own up to your mistakes. I own up to mine. But I am going to prove that there is a reason why I'm here. So Scott is number one. We have to pick one more person. Fish Station was the biggest problem. Let's go Fish Station. Clearly, Fish Station is the weakest station in the Scott and Jose, they had the most problems, and they were all over the place. I think Jose is extremely strong. However, he did mess up on a lot of the fish. I agree, unfortunately. I did fuck up, and I, and I listen, I apologize. It, it was very confusing in the beginning. At the end of the day, two stations were the ones who fucked up, fish and meat. Yeah, so like whoever was in charge of meat needs to step up and own it because that was the communication that broke down. Chris, I nominate you. I I must have asked like ten times. I need yes, it all day. I need it all times. day. I forgot, man. Yeah, your only job is to cook the meat, not even listen to the orders, right? Are you kidding me? Like fuck you. I don't think he had to keep up with all the tickets solely. I think both of y'all should have. Man, we guys cut the bullshit, man. The reality is if we don't pick two people, it's gonna get real fucking ugly. Yeah. So who going up? Roll the dice. Yeah. One of us going, huh? What the fuck, man? That was a nightmare. Kanane, Red Team's first nomination, and why? Scott is the first nominee chef. He just couldn't handle it, and that was one of our downfalls, one of many. Red Team's second nominee, and why? Our second nominee is... Chris Chef. He wasn't doing enough at the meat station, and once the meat started dragging, then it was hard for Jose. Wow. Scott, Chris, and I want to hear from somebody else. After a humiliating loss on opening night, the rookie team has nominated Scott and Chris. But Chef Ramsay wanted more. And I want to hear from somebody else. Jose. Step forward, all three of you. Jose, tonight, you dropped your head, you sunk. You just disappeared. Why should you stay in Hell's Kitchen? I'm a great leader. Today, I started off slow. I was working with the team on communication, trying to like, see where we were all at. I'm driven, I'm ambitious. I want to be here, Chef. 120%, I want to be here. Scott, was that you at your best tonight? No, Chef. What have I not seen? Well, I, I know beef extremely well. Great. You should be a fucking butcher. I know I can do better, Chef. I want to prove to you and to myself what I can do. Chris, what happened tonight? I got fucking confused, got mixed up, trying to remember things. It's, I got an accident last year. My mind is not the same as it used to be. You got a what? I got into an accident. I broke 90% of my face last April, and I got a concussion. And so that's my biggest struggle, is trying to like to remember things. You know, it's something that it's, it's, it's a challenge. Do you have fire in your belly? Yes, chef. I feel like I'm behind the curve on certain things, but I have so much fire in my fucking soul. I got so much fire left in me. 
Right, so I'm sorry about the accident, but fight back. Yes, Chef. My decision is... Jose and Chris. Fuck off back in line. Scott, come here. Yes, Chef. Let me tell you something. You did something tonight I've never seen before. You were cooking the table-side dish in the kitchen. Take off your jacket. The good news is your restaurant's open tomorrow night. Now get out of here. Yes, Chef. My ego right now is totally bruised. I'm the only one out of this whole group that owns their own restaurant. Closed it down to come here, and I'm the one standing out here going home. Get out of here. Coming into this competition, I didn't tell anybody about an accident, because I'm not making excuses. There's a reason why I'm here, and I'm going to put in the 110%. I don't want to be on the chopping block again. Damn. Being in front of Chef Ramsay put some fire up my ass. I want to make him proud, and I want to show him that he chose me for a reason. He didn't just choose some regular schmo from the Bronx. The All-Stars have so much more knowledge than these rookies, and there's only seven more of them to go. We'll wipe the floor with the red team. Scott remembers working with some of the biggest named chefs in the world, but whether they would remember him is another matter entirely. I know I won't remember him by tomorrow. Next time on Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> this is the episode everyone will be talking about. My head hasn't fully been in the game. When one veteran starts to feel like an outcast. If you fucking listened, you understand what I was saying. No, I am fucking listening. You don't piss me off. And sees the writing on the wall. Young lady, I'm not doing wrong now. She's don't fucking now. talk to me like that. I fucking beg you, continue arguing. You threw that under there. Never fucking you, is it? Will she go to a place? You trying here. to clown me, chef? <laughs> that no chef has ever dared to go before. To I, you're lying. Don't you dare. A storm is brewing. Me up. What the fuck is she thinking? You're not gonna keep this Bullshit. I'm going to bring the pain, and it's simple as that. And it's all next week. You haven't got it. You know that. On Hell's Kitchen. <laughs>